Lake Tahoe, home to countless outdoor enthusiasts and a destination for tourists from all around the world. But that's not what this film's about. This is about the wildlife, more specifically, the black bears. I'm Riley McClary. I'm a filmmaker based right here in Lake Tahoe. And for the past six months, I've been following around the black bear population, taking a closer look at how our actions as humans affect their day-to-day -day lives. This is their story, the story of the backyard bears. Summer is here in Lake Tahoe, and high up in this pine tree is a black bear cub of the year. This is her mom. This past winter she gave birth to two of these little cubs. These two youngsters will stay with their mom for about a year and a half, learning everything they need to know to survive in this wild world they live in. While this family takes an afternoon nap, a couple miles away there's two more bears that are living life a little more fast paced. With that little friendly battle out of the way, it's time to gain back some of those calories they lost. Black bears eat about 5,000 calories a day during the summer months. When autumn rolls around, that number will quadruple when they enter hyperphagia. Hyperphagia is basically a feeding frenzy to put on as much weight as possible before winter. But during the summer, life moves a little slower and their diet mainly consists of grasses, roots, seeds, nuts, and berries. Although that's what a black bear should be eating, they're very opportunistic and won't pass up much as far as food goes. And some of the bears here aren't gonna waste all that energy foraging all day. As the sun sets, this is their time to go out on the town in search of any little mistakes us humans have made. This big guy is not on the hunt for pine nuts and berries. He's looking for something a little more calorie dense. It doesn't take him long before he finds himself a non-bear proof trash can for an appetizer. Now it's time for the main course. A dumpster at a local boat launch that should be locked, but was left wide open when the lake goers ended their day on the water. This isn't just a coincidence. This happens all around the lake, day in and day out. Anything from local businesses leaving their dumpsters unlocked to residential streets lined with non-bear locking trash cans. We make it way too easy for them. 
Not only is this unhealthy and a threat to the bears, as they're consuming plastic and other waste that no creature should be trying to digest, it's also hard on the environment. These messes that are left behind get blown around by the wind, carried off into the woods, and ultimately end up in rivers and streams, polluting our beaches and a whole mess of things. Over in the town of Truckee on the north side of Lake Tahoe, a family of four black bears is waking up from a nap. Now it's time to head out in search of food. First stop, a backyard pond for a bath, of course. Now it's time to eat. It looks like they've hit the jackpot. The source? A local restaurant's wide open dumpster. Once this feast has come to an end, they continue their search for food as these three cubs learn from their mom how to take advantage of lazy humans and their unsecured food. Perhaps the biggest issue of all is that this behavior we're encouraging puts the bears and our lives in danger. You can think of these dumpster feasts as sort of a gateway drug, leading to behavior that's a little less forgiving. Black bears have a natural fear of humans. And typically when they see us, their first instinct is to run or climb a tree faster than you ever thought a bear could. But the problem is, once they get food conditioned to human food, they lose that and they start taking way more risks than they would normally to get that food reward. This behavior of breaking into trash cans leads to more severe situations, such as breaking into cars and even houses. There's a fine line. And when a bear crosses that line, it becomes a liability. And oftentimes it leads to it getting euthanized. Hank the Tank was a huge black bear in Tahoe and became famous after hitting nationwide news for breaking into dozens of houses in South Lake Tahoe. When talk about euthanizing Hank started buzzing around, the community was outraged. But we have to remember that Hank, as well as countless other bears, are in these situations because of us in the first place. So if we're gonna enjoy beautiful places like Lake Tahoe, we need to do our part in protecting and keeping the wildlife that lives here wild. Come October when summer turns to fall, an incredible natural food source is about to make their way upriver. But there's one problem. Due to low water levels, the salmon run is getting pushed back later every year. And right now they're stuck at the mouth of the river, waiting on the flow they need to start their journey up to spawn. At least someone's getting dinner out of it. early November storm kicks in. This storm has given the river the flow that the salmon need. It's exactly what they've been waiting for. These are the kokanee salmon. They were born in this exact same stream. For the past few years they've spent their lives in the depths of Lake Tahoe and their last adventure in life is to make their way back to their birthplace to pass on their genes to the next generation. The bears know this, and they're ready. This mom has brought her two cubs down to the river for a fishing lesson. 
It's all about timing. This mom is teaching her cubs how to fatten up the right way with an all-you-can-eat salmon buffet. My goal with this film is to show how amazing these animals are and shine a light on a problem they're facing because of our actions. It's up to us to take responsibility and work towards coexistence instead of conflict.